Hey everybody, welcome to this B1 English listening practice video. You can use this video to practice your listening and comprehension as I speak. Before we start, remember to subscribe to the channel, click on the bell, and follow us on Instagram. You ready? So today, I'm going to talk about adulthood. This is a topic that many of you can relate to because I assume that the majority of my viewers are adults. Some of us wish we were still kids sometimes, but there's nothing we can do to roll back the time. So first, let's talk about some of the most notable differences that exist between childhood and adulthood. The first thing that comes to mind is the responsibility that comes with being an adult. This is something that most kids and teenagers underestimate about adulthood. For example, when I was in high school, I couldn't wait to be an adult. I thought the responsibilities wouldn't be as hard as everyone always told me they'd be. But boy was I wrong. Young people simply can't imagine all the challenges that adulthood presents. Of course they know that they'll probably get married, move out of their parents' house, and of course have a career and make enough money to support a family. It sounds relatively straightforward, but it's definitely harder than we think it is when we're still young. It was a challenge for me to become independent from my parents because they'd always paid for everything and helped me with all my problems. When you take that security away, it's a little scary for a young adult. Becoming financially independent is undoubtedly one of the hardest things about being an adult. For example, those of you who pay rent know that it can sometimes be a struggle, especially if you're still in an early stage of your career. I think that parents should spend a lot of time teaching their kids about financial responsibility. This way, when they're adults, they won't have to learn everything from scratch. They'll already have a good foundation to build upon. How about you? Was it hard for you to become financially independent? Aside from the financial aspect, the other huge responsibility is getting married and raising children. Choosing the right husband or wife is one of the most critical decisions we'll ever make. If you choose wrong, you're going to have to live with the consequences of that for the rest of your life. However, even if you choose the right spouse, you're still going to face all kinds of challenges in your marriage. That's a given. It's our responsibility to work with our spouse as a team to overcome these challenges. Those of you who are married know exactly what I'm talking about. And of course, everything gets a little more complicated when we have kids. At that point, you take on much more responsibility. Okay, now let's talk about some of the positives of being an adult. For me, one of the best things is being able to make decisions for myself. When you're an adult, you get to decide your own future. You can choose the path you want to take. This isn't easy, but I think it's exciting. You get to pick your career, your spouse, your residence, etc, etc. Another great thing about being an adult is that you understand the world better. When you're a child, you still have a limited view of the world around you and you have limited experience. But as an adult, you're able to see things more clearly. In turn, this means that you solve problems more effectively and learn from your mistakes more easily. One last positive about being an adult is that you can accomplish more. With the exception of child prodigies, people in general achieve the most when they're fully grown. As an adult, you've probably already studied and gained experience, so you're more prepared to do significant things with your life. I hope I can achieve a lot in my adult life, and I'll definitely continue setting goals for myself to make sure I do that. Okay, now I'm going to ask you three questions about today's video to check your comprehension. Write your answers in a comment down below. Number one, what's one challenge of being an adult? Number two, what's one positive thing about being an adult? And number three, what will I do to make sure I achieve a lot in my adult life? All right, before we go, remember to subscribe to the channel, click on the bell, and follow us on Instagram for more English tips and lessons. I'll see you next time.